Hello, I'm Mr. Tan. Today we are doing primary six topic two fraction. So in mastery level one, we learn to express part whole as fraction and convert decimal percentage into fraction. Example one. What fraction of the figure below is shaded? So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So there are one, two, three. So the rectangle is cut into equal pieces. So three out of six, not one out of two. Here, what fraction of the figure below is shaded? Over down here, this triangle you cannot cut into equal parts, but you can cut into different portions. And what happens is that after you cut, you get this. Can I see that this half of the rectangle, half of the rectangle? So half of every each portion is half of the whole figure. So this is a theory that you need to learn about. And it will give you half. Example three, how many quarters are there in three out of six? So quarter is out of four, but three, six, how to change to out of four? First change to simplest form, that gives you half, then you change to over four. So answer is two out of four, two quarter, two. Example four, switch decimal to fraction. So 0 0.1, so the one is one ten, so it's one out of 10. 0 0.01 is 1 out of 100, 0 0.001 is 1 out of 1000. So if they give 2.75, means 2 whole, 75 out of 100. So it's simplest form, divided by 25, divided by 25, is 2 whole, 3 quarter. Change percentage to fraction. So 1% is 1 out of 100, 50% is 50 out of 100. Change to simplest form, that gives you half. Example 6, express 5 cm as a fraction of 1 meter in simplest form. Take note, when you want to express, you always must swing to the same unit. That means 1 meter has to swing to 100 cm, then you express 5 out of 100. Simplest form is 1 out of 20. Mastery level 2, add, subtract, or multiply fraction. So let's take a look at example 1. First, to add fraction, make sure the denominator are the same. So the denominator is the number right at the bottom. So we have 4 and 6. Common multiple is 12. To so change 12, you times 3. 1 times 3 gives us 3. Here times 2. 5 times 2 gives us 10. Then you add. That gives us 1 whole 13 out of 12. Change this to simplest form. So it becomes 2 whole and 1 out of 12. So why is that so? It's because 13 out of 12 is equal to 1 whole 1 out of 12. To subtract, same thing, make sure the denominator are the same. So 3 and 5, common denominator is 15. To get 15, you times 5. 1 times 5, you have 5. Here times 3. 2 times 3, you have 6. And 5 cannot minus 6. So you borrow the 1 whole. So 1 whole is actually 15 out of 15. So that's how you get 15 plus 5, 20. 20 out of 15 minus 6 out of 15. And... Answer is 14 out of 15. For multiply, we divide by common factor first to speed our calculation. So first, 2 whole 1 quarter. Change to improper fraction, 9 out of 4. And here, what they are trying to do? 4 and 2. 4 can divide by 2, give us 2. 2 divided by 2, give us 1. So we divide by common factor. Here, 9 can divide by 3. 3 can divide by 3. So the 3 is the common factor. That give us 3. Here, give us 1. Then you multiply numerator with the numerator. 3 times 1 gives 3. 2 times 1 gives 2. Change to simplest form, 1 and a half. Practice more questions on our e-learning website at www.studysingaporemaths.com Thank you.